expressing concern, Father Mubangizi noted that although numerous places of worship had been established by various dominations, there were still instances where people clung to and revered small gods. He emphasized that such practices were remnants of the past when the church had not been established. Father Mubangizi urged Christians to utilize the existing places of worship to reconnect with God and to forsake these outdated beliefs and animosities. Reverend Father Robin Mubangizi further denounced the presence of malicious hearts among certain Christians, asserting that those who have such attitudes pose a significant obstacle to the progress and development of the church. <laughs> The State Minister of Finance in charge of general duties, Henry Musasizi, who was the chief guest at the event, commended the parish for its successful renovation of the church and called for concerted efforts to address the persistence of small god worship. Minister Musasizi encouraged religious leaders to utilize the pulpit to educate Christians about initiating projects that promote sustainable development. <laughs> Ati John Kijano Kujironchina, Nashanga Twai Sakunu, Brimuruka Mirioni, Atan Namushanju, Kan Hata Sande Rija, Trenda Kutawazin Makunya Atano, Nomaka Babia Saint Ogu, Okura Zakura Tiraho, Nametrenda Konjaramu as in the Mirionika. Gena Wantu, Omumirukayanu, Trava Shavangu, Gena Mleve Mungakozesa. Prosi Akampurida Begumisa Mbabazi, the Rwanda District Woman Member of Parliament, urged parents to make prudent decisions regarding their children's education expenses. She advised them to consider enrolling their children in schools that they can afford rather than resorting to selling off family properties each term. <laughs> The Thanksgiving event successfully raised 35 million in both cash and pledges to purchase church pews. However, an additional 85 million is required to acquire the remaining 120 church pews needed for the newly renovated church. <laughs>